number two Clemson is going to Tallahassee to play the Seminoles. And two different goals. Clemson's plan to go win a national championship. Florida State, their goal is to get to a bowl game. Two different goals. Well, you know what? They got to go about them the same way, and that's by winning football games. I know this should not be close, but Seminoles have improved step by step, week by week, and so have has Clemson since Trevor Lawrence got knocked down that one day, but now they come back and they're on a roll. You got some defense with Florida State. Brian Burns, nine sacks. He does this, so I'm not even going to try it, but he does a Spider-Man pose whenever he makes a sack for the Seminoles. He's tough. So this is either going to be a blowout, but don't forget, it could be a trap game. Mark, talk to us about Tallahassee. I don't think Dabble Sweeney will let this be a trap game. He's going to sell it. Florida State is Florida State. They're 4-2. and two. Everybody was throwing dirt on this football team and this program, and they're 4-2 and two under Willie Taggart at this time. Hey, it hasn't been pretty, but they're getting it done. They're going to challenge Clemson early in this game, but it won't last. If you look at Travis Etienne, the running back, he's averaging 8 yards per carry. He's got over 800 yards rushing on the season. And if you look at the quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, he's getting better each and every game. The more snaps he takes, he didn't even finish the game last week because they didn't need him in the fourth quarter. So this is a quarterback that's healthy now. He's throwing the football vertically. The reason why he was anointed to start because he can spread that rock around, can throw that magic beam. I got Clemson winning this game in the end, pulling away big time in the fourth quarter, 46 to 21. I, I think when you look at Clemson, a total offense, they're number nine. Scoring offense, they're number four. Total defense, they're number four. Scoring defense, they're number three. I mean, they are balanced. Their front four on Clemson is absolutely outstanding. It's a one front four that can compare favorably with the University of Alabama. But when I look at Florida State, for about five years, Mark, they've had a top five recruiting class. And that means that there's very good talent there. Defensively, they're getting better. They're playing better. Uh, but boy, when you look at them on offense, the offensive line is in real shadows. When you have a running back like Cam Akers, I mean, this guy is outstanding. He's a freshman. He rushed for over 1,000 yards last year and didn't even play a couple of the games. And he, he put on some great runs against Wake Forest. But, but he has to beat three or four tackles sometime to get to the line of scrimmage. I think that uh, Florida State has good talent. If their offensive line shows up and can compete with Clemson's defensive line, they have a chance. But I don't think that's going to happen, even though it's at Florida State. Uh, and let's remember this now. Florida State's really fighting for a bowl game. They have three losses. They lose to Clemson. They're going to lose to Florida five. They're going to lose to Notre Dame six. No, I, I, that I, I, means I, I, they, there's no doubt about that. But I look for Clemson to prevail 38-17. 38-17, and we'll see. Uh, I know Coach always disregard my little history and my little quims here, but you never know. It might be like being on the Madden cover for Clemson. Though the could be the third number two in a row to lose this year, but who that knows? That doesn't have a thing to do with it. It has everything to do with how well you play. You don't have your rank. You don't talk about it. And let me tell you this about rankings. I would say that to you. Hey, coach, you're number one. Are they going to vote again? Yeah. Well, if they're going to vote again, it means nothing. If you aren't going to vote again, we're number one. Great. They're going to vote again. Number two means nothing.